Hello, this is a quick video to just show off what I'm working on right now. It's a, an 8 bit binary to BCD encoder. It uh, uses the double dabble method. It's not finished yet, it's a work in progress. The mechanics are all there, it's just not um, automated in a sense. You have to flick a few levers yourself. Well, you have to do a lot of the stuff yourself right now. Uh, all this crap below it is. Um, stuff I'm working on to add so I don't have to do a lot of it myself some of it's in it's not attached yet uh, right now you can see 15 displayed on there and if you look here these columns are four along this is um, I think of this as a separate decoder all next to each other so this is one two four and eight one two four eight one two four eight all leading into these decoders which are just binary to seven segment and these go one Two, four, and eight. They kind of display zero to nine. And uh, this is where you add the numbers in, your first number anyway, and, um, before you start shifting it along. I'll show you how to do that now. Just reset these two here, these two columns. So there we go. All right, so it's a work in progress. So it's, um, let me just do it with a 4 bit number, it'll take a while to do 8. Video will get long. Let's just do, um, just add 15, so let's do 13. So 8, 4, and 1. There's our 4 bit number. And now we're gonna, this is how the double dabble method works. You shift it. If it's a 4 bit number, you shift it 4 times. If it's 8, it's 8 times. If it's 16, it's 16 times. But um, anyway, we're gonna shift it second time. And uh, when I shift it, the number moves along. So it was on here, everything jumps along one, jumps along one until it gets into these decoders here. Which, um, well, these registers go into um, full adders, which then go into decoders, I should mention. And uh, so I've done it twice. Let's do it a third time. And um, now you. When you do the double dabble method, you shift it along until one of these columns shows five or more. When you've got five or more, you have to add three to it. And to do that right now, I'll just come down here and add three. Just uh, reset the memory here. And I've added three. I'm going to load the answer to this memory here. I'm going to stop that now. And I'm going to come over here. I'm going to reset these registers because I want that answer in the registers. There we go, reset them, and I load the answer back into them. Is that done? So I believe it was 6 plus 3, so there's 9. I'm going to shift it for the fourth time. Remember, we're looking for 13. And everything shifts along. And 13. There we go. And that's sort of how that works. If it was an 8 bit number, it would just keep going. I'd be able to shift again, and um, that going to 2. And this would go from 1 and 2 to um, 2 and 4, so this would be 6, and I'd have to add 3 again. And the next time I shifted, this would go from 2 to f um, 4, and uh, whatever this would be. If there was another one here, so if it was 4 and 5, I'd have to add 3 to this. If this was 5, it would be 3 to that. But that's how you just keep doing it until you've shifted 4 times, 8 times, depending on what bit your number is. And yeah, that's what I'm working on anyway. And I'm doing this on the RDF server. So I'll be able to give you a schematic when it's done. And um, I'll update it as it goes. So yeah, anyway, give the video a like and a favourite. Um, subscribe if you want to keep up to date with what I get up to. And uh, I'll see you next time.